Now, when you are starting to learn quantum field theory or QFT, you must have thought that what about those difficult mathematics, quantum mechanics, special theory of relativity, Dirac equation, spinner, but hold on. I'm going to tell you something very important in terms of starting to learn QFT. The first basic thing which I have seen when I'm teaching QFT, elementary QFT to the students is that uh, students uh, really don't understand this concept that quantum field theory is a kind of an exit, a transition from the particle-like nature to a field-like nature. So the first basic concept that you need to understand in QFT is that particles, electrons, protons, whatever you are learning, these are no more particles. They are excitation of the fields. So you see a room around and you cannot see the dots or the arrows which are pointing as wind directions in different parts of your room, in the corner, at the center, at the bottom. No, these are something which are fields. Fields are something which you cannot see. Fields are something which cannot be drawn on pen and paper. So the abstraction concept of QS, QFT not start, doesn't start from mathematics or Dirac equation. It starts from your basic abstract concept that you are no more dealing with particles, you are dealing with fields. Now, Whenever you are starting with dealing with fields, things starts to get much more abstract. So what you need to imagine is that there is a pond the water is very peaceful and you drop a pebble and creates a ripple. So a ripple is something which is an electron field, a proton field, a neutron field, a Higgs boson field and so on. So each and every elementary particle that you have learned in quantum mechanics which you perceive it as a particle is now an excitation of a field. So the ripples that you can see on a pond is basically the field and that is what is called the quantum field theory. Before going into mathematics, before selecting any book, remember one thing is that you are not dealing with particles. You're not dealing with arrows or vectors which are pretty easy to imagine. You're imagining or you're dealing with fields. Fields are something which are always a little bit abstract in nature and hence it is very difficult to imagine and deal with fields. That is what is the inception and starting of the concept of QFT. You start with fields. Forget about particles, points, cannonballs. No. You are dealing with fields. These are excitations, ripples on a pond and and each of the fundamental subatomic particles are now dealing with fundamental fields which are relating to those fundamental particles.